Hello viewers, yeah, welcome back again to Gossip Snare Farm. We are talk about what you need to know and do to be very, very successful in your snare farming business. Remember, if this is your first time of visiting our channel, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please, we want you to click on the subscribe button below this video and the bell notification icon. So that whenever I need an upcoming video such as this, you will be among the first people that YouTube will notify. And also, if this video is helpful, please, Give this video a like so that you help this video to rank on YouTube. So, I'm excited to have you here once again. So, um, today I'm actually going to be talking about um, a lot of questions that um, I've been getting from so many persons about um, Sine Family. And um, I've been a practical Sine Family for at least two years and now. So, uh, at least I've gotten some experience to an extent that I can be able to advise and Tell based on my experience, this works or how it should be done. So, I want to talk about um, why your snake egg doesn't hatch. Is there a lot of questions I've been getting from persons and uh, students and uh, so many other persons asking? Because my snake egg don't hatch, I don't know what is wrong, I, I will incubate and they don't hatch. So, I want to talk about the reasons why. Um, your snake eggs don't hatch. The possible reasons why your eggs don't hatch when you must have incubated. So, I will start by saying this, that um, the snake eggs, if well incubated, it hatch very, very well, 100% hatch, you get your 100% hatch. But then, if done wrongly, you end up what? Not having your 100% hatch free. So, the possible reasons why your eggs don't hatch is number one, when you are using the wrong soil for your incubation. When you are using the wrong soil for incubation, then there is no possibility that that's those eggs rather will hatch freely. And that is why I will keep saying it and will keep recommending that the best soil for your egg incubation is what the human soil. Loamy soil. Please, and not just the loamy soil. You get the loamy soil, yes, very, very well. That is number one. So if you are using the loamy soil, yes, it doesn't hatch. Then you must check how um, conducive is the loamy soil, loamy soil to the snare eggs. How conducive is the loamy soil to the snare eggs that you have incubated. And that is why we say again that the loamy soil must be what down. It must be down. So the reason why those your eggs are not hatching is either that you are using it, you are not using the loamy soil, or your loamy soil is not down. It's not always down for the eggs. I have visited a lot of persons for consultation, and at the end of the day, I will find out that their soil they are using is either always dry. It's always dry, it's always dry, it's always dry. How do you expect your eggs, which you have better to hatch in that kind of environment? It will not hatch. And that is why your eggs don't hatch. So you must try as much as possible to make sure that that your loamy soil, which we are using, is damp. I, know, I hope you understand what we mean by being damp. Being damp is that it's not dry, it's not wet, but it's damp. You can feel that this soil is not dry. You can also feel that this soil is not uh, waterlogged or is not too wet. But in between, it's damp. That is what we mean by being damp. So, that soil you are using for your uh, incubation need to be damp. And that is why we say that you always sprinkle the water on it. Make sure that you sprinkle water it to make it, to, to keep it damp till when your eggs must have been hatched. Remember, most of the time, if you are using an artificial incubator, what do I mean by an artificial incubator? You are using, um, let's say, disposable plate to incubate. There is every tendency that the soil will always be dry. So that is why it's your duty to always make sure that the soil remains what damp. If you are using a natural um, incubator where you build a soil, it might not really be the same with when you are using it. Um, your Artificial incubator. The reason is because this one is in the natural environment in the ground already. So there is always an output of water in that particular place. But this one is not like that. So you must make sure that the um, that's your incubator 
is always damp. The sand, the soil is always damp. So if it's not, that is, uh, that is where your egg will not hatch, or that is why your egg will not actually hatch. Then um, the next one I will talk why your egg doesn't hatch is probably because of where you are keeping that incubator. For those of you that use um, the artificial one that you can carry around, and where do you always keep it? That is the question you need to ask yourself. The place you are keeping it, is it a conducive environment for them? Some persons keep their incubator we are uh, in a place that is always um, hot, or let me not use the term hot now. We are is always um, dry. We are heat, 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 heat. Every time heat is in that place, the egg will not hatch successfully in such environment. Remember, this is as nest, and these are their eggs. Naturally, they like a cool environment. So if we are incubating, and when we are keeping those incubators are uh, a place we are. Um, that is always hot or heat is always in that place. That will always contribute to make sure that your soil always dry up, is drying up, is drying up, is drying up, and it becomes very difficult for your eggs to hatch in such environment. So you must consider properly where the environment where you are keeping those incubators. So we even carry it and go and keep in a room, and you know that in that room there is no enough ventilation. In that room, the place is, is always heat up. So why do you think it will hash? So for you to have 100% egg hash free in your snare farming business, please you must consider the soil you are using, how damp the soil is, then you need also to consider the environment where you are incubating. If the environment is not conducive, these eggs will not also hash freely. Then lastly, some also complain that uh, you know after 21 days it doesn't hash, you know. But what we are saying is that it's not a must that to hash on that at one day or thereabout. As a matter of fact, I have seen those, I have seen some that hash that stayed for like one month before hashing. Seriously, I have seen X that was incubated and stayed for one month before hashing. So don't always get scared when it gets to 21 days and it didn't hash. No, it's not as if it will not hash. If you have done the right thing, if you have put the, um, put the right process on ground, if you have carried out the right process, it definitely has. Some stay for like 25 to 30 days, some more than that before it hashes. So you need to monitor it closely. And for those of you that always also use um, a natural environment for your bed, you need to be at a close place where you can easily monitor for easy monitoring. If not, sometimes they eggs will hash and escape and you will not know then lastly the another reason why um some eggs don't hatch freely is how you bury the egg how do you incubate it some don't know how to bury the egg when they are incubating their egg some bury it in a way that the one the soil covering doesn't cover, cover it properly no it's not like that you must make sure that it's the halfway stuff that the one you are covering will cover it probably, but not too much. Some also bury in a way that they cover it too much. They brain deep down and then pack a lot of soil and cover it. No, no. That is not the best practice to, or the best way to incubate your snare egg. The best way to incubate is that you, the soil must be halfway each, halfway each. The, down, the one down need to cover the base of the incubator. Then the one up need to cover them, but not too much, so that it will even enable them once they hatch. You know, they are small. Once they hatch, if they cannot be able to struggle and come out, it becomes another issue. So that is why we tell you and we recommend that you don't do what bury it or cover it with huge sun of soil. So if these things I have said so far should be avoided, if you follow the right process, there is no way you will not have hundred percent hash free in your snare incubation. So thank you again for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And then uh, if this is the first time or you have not joined our telegram group, we have a telegram group where we discuss about snare farming and agriculture in general. I help students, I help people that are in snare farming business and when they have issue, you discuss it on the telegram group and do what I share uh, my own information and my own knowledge on a helpful way that they can actually come out of their
problem. So if you have not joined, the link is on the description below. You will find the link to the Telegram channel in the description of this video. So do where to join. Thank you once again for watching. I wish you all the best. See you in our next video. Bye for now.